this group was targeted as a result of them being involved in 44 specific incidents of violence in the city of Toronto, including homicides, robberies, shootings. Um, of those, they are on the receiving end of some of that violence. Sometimes they precipitated that violence. A dangerous group dismantled in a series of early morning raids in the GTA and beyond. In total, police have made more than 60 arrests in Project Faro, an investigation zeroing in on a sophisticated street gang called the Monsters. Homicides were part of what this gang was involved in, as well as other uh, street level crimes, robberies, drug trafficking, uh, violence, intimidation, and, and a whole criminal organization. At least six guns and 35 kilos of cocaine have been seized during the raids, which spanned as far away as Hamilton. Saw 19 cops run out, half of them are undercover, and literally loading shotguns. I just heard screaming. I heard uh, a bunch of people say, get down. And that was it for me. Like, I was literally ready to pee my pants. That was the craziest thing I've ever seen in my life. Toronto police releasing these photos of the takedowns, showing suspects being arrested and ETF officers in action. That picture of the ETF officer was taken outside of this townhouse on Mount Olive Drive, where at least one man was taken into custody. If you take a look at the door, you can actually see some of the damage that was left behind, as well as bullet holes here that were marked as evidence on this door, as well as down here. Now, these bullet holes are from a previous incident this past April, where no one was hurt, but gunfire actually sprayed this entire side of the complex with bullets. I can't discuss it. But you're aware someone was arrested? Yeah. Okay. I was, I am aware. A woman inside the home where one of the arrests took place wouldn't confirm the age of the man taken into custody. Monstars Entertainment promotes artists and produces music videos in the city's northwest end. And a gang expert tells City News there is an affiliation with the group targeted by police today. Monstars is, is uh, first and foremost, is, is an entertainment-based organization that specializes, I, I guess, in, in uh, hip-hop, uh, music. Uh, one of the genres may be considered uh, uh, what we call uh, is known as gangster rap. At this point, investigators will not give specifics on the murders the Monstars are involved in. But Hutchinson tells us that police attempted to link the 2009 murder of an innocent bystander to an ongoing war between another record company in Jamestown and the Monstars group. Bilshin Golab was shot and killed on Mount Olive Drive six years ago. Experts say the raids today may bolster their reputation. It becomes a badge of honor and it becomes a, um, uh, you know, it just it basically validates their notoriety. But the 700 officers involved in today's raid say the takedowns have made the streets safer and say more arrests are yet to come. The impact right now and in, in the immediate future, I believe, will mean it's going to be a much safer. Uh, summer for, for all of us.